Hello, hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Fire Tech Roundup. My name's Ellie, and if you're ready for the latest and greatest tech news from the last week, let's go. Number one, so first up, according to a leading academic, if all the proposed data centers for Ireland were to be connected, they could use as much as 70% of Ireland's electricity's grid capacity by 2030. If you consider that today's data centers in Ireland currently use 11% of their grid capacity and the worldwide situation is currently only 2% electricity is consumed by data centers, the immediate problem seems to be the continued expansion of the sector within Ireland. You can read more about the committee hearing by using the first link below. Number two, at its flagship event DevOps World 2021, Cloudbees announced new capabilities for feature management, including full visibility and control of feature flags throughout the development and release pipelines. These new enhancements lay the foundation for fully integrated feature flags across the Cloudbees platform, enabling enterprise scale progressive delivery in ways not possible with standalone feature management solutions. You can catch up on keynotes from the free-day event by clicking on the second link below. Number three, Nationwide launches a prepayment hotline after bank transfer scams rose significantly during the pandemic. In a bid to curb the losses endured from authorised post-payment fraud, which was up 71% in the first half of the year, the UK's biggest building society has launched a 24-7 scam checkers service. They've also warned that the technology, telecoms, and social media companies that host these crimes should be more responsible for stopping scams as the problem reaches epidemic proportions. Number four, Barclays Bank and US funding platform Anthemis are bringing a US initiative that invests in women in financial technology to the UK and Europe. Set up in 2019, the hope is this initiative will set up a $30 million fund to help support fintechs led by women from their earliest stages and also provide additional support via lab teams and office space within London. You can read up more on that initiative by using the fourth link below. Number five, China demands internet companies create governance systems around algorithms. A set of guiding opinions on algorithms issued overnight by nine government agencies explains that algorithms play a huge role in distributing information online and in enabling growth of the digital economy. Machine translations of the opinions reveal that Chinese authorities want tech companies to ensure that their algorithms are fair, transparent and protect citizen rights pointing out that algorithms employed online can impact society and financial markets and need to be politically correct by promoting proper socialist values. Organisations have been given three years to get this done. In the meantime, Chinese authorities will watch these efforts and will be unsparing when they find either harmful algorithms or less than comprehensive compliance efforts. And that's it, that's all the tech news, although secretly there are two more pieces of news which we discuss on this week's Biotech Roundup Roundup, where Andy, Teb and myself run through this week's news and explain a little bit more in detail why it's important and why we find this stuff interesting. In the world of ECS, we do have a couple of shout outs. First and foremost, a very warm welcome to our new intake of Academy joiners who joined the team yesterday for a free month program to kickstart their career in DevOps. We wish them all the best. Secondly, a big thank you to all who joined last night's Devil's Playground, Docker and Pommen, twins, rivals or strangers. From what I heard, it was a great success, so thanks to everyone who signed in into the session with Patrick and the team. And finally, a thank you also to those who took part in this week's Amazon Connect Immersion Day. We hope you took a lot away from your hands-on experience with Amazon Connect platform and the various plugins available. If you missed it but are interested in signing up for the next event, do keep your eyes peeled as we release dates for 2022 soon. That's it. That's all the news we have this week. I hope you've enjoyed the session and join in next Friday for more tech news. Take care.